In today's video, I thought it would be useful to talk about the new Ableton Live 12 upgrade and whether or not it's worth buying. The new software comes out in early 2024. There are pre-order prices now, so there is lower price now if you want to go ahead and look at the Ableton website, and it will be more expensive if you wait until the actual release date. So that's why it's quite good to think now about whether or not you want to buy the software. I'm going to present this to you as the things that I'm really excited about and the things that I'm less excited about and then a verdict at the end. The things I'm excited about. Number one, the new views. I think this is quite an exciting upgrade because at the moment in Ableton 11, you can't see the mixer at the same time as the arrangement view. And I use those two views most. So I have to choose between mixer or arrangement. And I'm really excited by the fact that I can have them side by side. Number two, MIDI editing. I think one of the things I spend most of my time on at the moment is editing MIDI. So I'm really excited to see how they're looking to change MIDI editing. And there are some really intuitive functions in there that look really helpful, especially the arpeggiator. I think that will really help save time. Plus the scales, I think that will really help when you're programming to see what notes you should be hitting or not. Number three, performance pack. I'm excited to dig into this pack. There's not that much information yet about it, but it does say you can do looping in arrangement views, pre-arranging the structure of tracks within a song. Um, is something that I'm doing all the time. So if able to make that faster, fantastic. Number four, stacked detail view. Yes, I can see the clip editor at the same time as the device parameters. That's amazing. Again, I like to see those two things next to each other and having to flip between screens is really annoying. Thanks Ableton. And finally, number five, something called the sound similarity search. This is interesting. This sounds like it should enable you to find a bass drum and find another bass drum. So it'll be a massive time saver if you use the drum rack quite a lot. So what am I less excited about? Number one, no game changing updates for me. As a live looper who uses real instruments to loop and I also record live bands, I'm not really feeling that there's a lot in this upgrade for me. For example, the upgrade from Ableton 10 to Ableton 11 had the tempo follow feature. So literally the song would follow the speed at which you're playing. That was a real game changer. There's nothing like that that I can see from the literature that Ableton have released about it. So feeling a bit underwhelmed. Number two, MIDI triggering from internal clips. Now I mentioned earlier, I'm a bit excited about the performance pack, but I really think Ableton could make it a lot more native so if you've watched any of my other videos you will see that I use certain drivers or certain other pieces of software to allow me to trigger looping or trigger other Ableton functions from the arrangement view with MIDI clips and I think that's something that Ableton could make native into their software so I'm a bit disappointed that they haven't done that it might be fixed in the performance pack but there's just not enough information for me to see yet number three price Ouch! For me to upgrade right now on the pre-order prices, it's £143. So I've been a bit underwhelmed and I'm feeling like the price is quite high. If I wait till Ableton actually comes out, it's going to be £179. Quite a lot of money. So what's my verdict? Will I upgrade to Ableton? Yes. I'm going to upgrade and there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I make YouTube videos about how to use Ableton and I also train people. Not having the latest version of Ableton's a bit of a non-starter for me. And number two, I have a sneaky feeling that there's a lot more hidden away in this upgrade. And I feel like if I do make the upgrade, I might be pleasantly surprised about all the things that excite me and the new ways of working with Ableton. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. What do you think? Are you gonna upgrade? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how the Ed Sheeran Looper works in 60 seconds, check this video out here.